Look what came in, guys. We got the new design turtle shirts, finally. We got the turtle on the front. And then the new design on the back. And I am in love. They came out freaking killer. So, I have to do a lot of shipping tomorrow. These are all the ones I gotta ship out. And then I do have extra t-shirts. So, if anyone is interested, you can go email me at the turtlemiata at yahoo.com. And, uh, yeah, we can talk about shirts there. So, let's start today's video. So we have Mrs. Extremely Dirty Wheeler, Mr. Extremely Dirty Wheel Miata here. So we're kind of in a in-between right now. We don't have any events until Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. So that is about six weeks away. And uh, kind of unsure in the direction we're gonna be going. Um, I have a good suspicion the engine's kind of not happy right now. Obviously, if you guys saw the last video, the bearings aren't looking all that great. So my plan right now is I'm going to pull the oil filter. We're going to cut the oil filter. And if there is, if it's a clean filter, if there's not much debris in it, <clears throat> my plan is to change the head gaskets and basically full send in Charlotte. Um, if there is a bunch of stuff in the oil, uh, the plan will be to do rods and pistons and bearings and try to get it back together before Charlotte. So that is kind of the plan. It all depends on how the oil looks. Um, a goal of mine is to run a seven in this car this year. It would be cool to run a seven with the stock bottom end. I don't know how realistic it is, but it's possible. Um, several cars is, as my weight, my car weighs about 2,900 pounds and a lot of the stock bottom end cars are about the same weight as mine. So, I mean, in theory it's doable. Um, but yeah, so the oil change is really gonna or the oil filter is really going to uh, put a, a direction set on what we're doing. So anyway, this will be uh, what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the oil filter off, cut it open, inspect, and go from there. Well, as you can see, I changed my shirt. Not really. It's probably a couple days later now. I was going to pull the oil filter off the other day before work. I didn't realize exactly what time it was. Well, here we are. It's Friday. So I'm about to lift the car up. I have driven it a little bit more. I mean, the oil pressure has been great. It's, it's whatever at this point. Um, Nick, my buddy with the burnout van, he bought one of my shirts that I'm selling for the turtle merch. <laughs> and uh, I'll insert a photo right now, but I hooked up my really crappy small trailer behind the Miata and I actually towed his shirt to him just as a, as a funny thing to do. It was just entertaining, but Let's go ahead and get this car up in the air, pull the filter off, and we are gonna cut her open and we are gonna pray. That's what we're gonna do. Here's we have absolutely nothing in the base of the filter. And let's check the filter itself. Yeah, 
I'm gonna be honest. I don't really see anything in here. I don't, actually, I don't see anything at all. I even figured, I mean, I see like one speck right there, but I can tell you that's the same exact kind of what was in there before, that aluminum. But guys, I think we're in good shape here. Oh, this is so relieving. All right, well, that, uh, that kind of concludes it. She's getting a pair of head gaskets for Charlotte and we're gonna freaking send it. And uh, after Charlotte, the motor's coming out to do internals. That way I can get ready for drag week. Um, since basically everything is accounted for for drag week now, the license passes are done. I'll have my license in time. And uh, Charlotte, um, we're racing. The weekend after is a car show in Orlando that I'm going to, I'm already registered for. And then I have nothing else booked after that up until drag week. So that's probably when the motor is going to come apart and everything's going to be gone through and inspected. So that's good news. I'm really excited about that. <sighs> Hell yeah. All right. So it's actually been a few days. You know, the last time we spoke, I cut the oil filter and uh, gave it the thumbs up for a future send. So that kind of puts us in a position now before a streetcar take over Charlotte, where basically all we really need to do is make sure the engine diaper is installed and then we are going to change the head gaskets. So I already have a pair of good, uh, I have a pair of brand new head gaskets from GM. We're gonna slap on, we'll pull the heads off. We're gonna take the CW pens to have them machined to make sure they are completely surface flat, put them back on the car and we should be good to go for Charlotte. So one of the other things I had to do in the time lately is I actually added an, a pair of throttle return springs. So the throttle body has two springs that, that are built in, but I wanted a little bit more stiffness to the pedal. So I have a pair of return springs, not the most appealing thing in the world, but it gets the job done. So. The one thing we are going to start focusing on now as a part of Drag Week prep is we have a trailer to build. So this is what we will be building for the Drag Week trailer. So I actually have another trailer that's sitting on the side of the house, but it's just too rotted away, too far gone for what I want to do. And if I'm going to build something to pull behind this car, I also want to make it like show worthy or whatnot. Be kind of cool to pull up to a car show with this car with a matching trailer, matching wheels, they'd be pretty sick. So that is what we will be doing in the next video is assembling that trailer. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure when I'm gonna actually pull the head gaskets off of this dude. Um, it might be this week, it might be next week, I'm not quite sure. Um, let's go with the flow. So I haven't really been doing too much, that's why the videos haven't been coming, but we do have to get some work done, so. There'll be videos covering that. So little update. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.